little scrappy, slow stitch, Birds of Hope. Welcome to another process video. This is from Freddie and myself. I can't stop making these little birds, these little slow stitch scrappy birds. And this week they've evolved, they've evolved into Birds of Hope. <laughs> Let me bring you closer and explain how, how I'm doing that. Just a slight adaption. So let me just run through how they're very simple. You probably got your own ways of doing these, but simply find a little pot or a cup, draw around a circle, cut it out, a little circle, fold it over, or I for this one. I've cut two circles, so I've got different ones front and back. There is no right or wrong. If you're doing it this way, just cut down the middle and add, add a little ribbon to hang it if you want to. This ribbon, do you know when you get from, this was on my cardi, when the, the little hanger, it fell off and I thought, oh, what a gorgeous little light teal colour. Wonderful. That's lovely. And then you want to get a little piece of wadding. Or this, in this case, it's an old fleecy cardigan. A little bit for the inside like that and that is all ready to slow stitch and you can take this anywhere with you you pop it pop it in a little on the go on the go and even if it's on the go just to sit in the lounge and have a little stitch <laughs> there we are it's just nice to have things ready because sometimes we just we don't know what to do we just oh we're not in the the we're not in the frame of mind for making decisions so it's nice if there's just something ready sometimes now, what makes this little one different? And they, seriously, they come out different all the time. Everyone's different. <laughs> but this time, I've got, this is a piece of fabric I already had in a little patchwork on the fleece. I cut out, I found myself cutting a little heart-shaped wing. And there we are, there's our sandwich. right sides on the outside because it's going to all be raw edges here. What do I want my front to be? I like this holly hobby type fabric. Pop the little heart shaped wing on. There, like that. And simply, we're going to sew that on. I don't need to go all the way through actually because that's going to make it hard work. 
So let's sew on the heart, but I'm not going to go all the way around because I'm going to make this heart into a pocket. So it's just sewn at the bottom. So a little, a little message of hope can be sent. This one says, you are brave. I've just done this one on a little bit of paper. It's a mini collage. And that can go, that can go in the little bird's wing. Little carrier pigeons. Carrying notes of hope all over the world. I like that. Do you know that seeds of ideas come in our minds because Maria on her Instagram account was making hearts of hope. We usually make hearts of love, don't we? And I thought, oh, I'm going to make some hearts of hope. So the so the little seeds lodge in our minds and I was just sitting on the settee gently sewing and I thought oh these can be birds of hope ah <laughs> oh, lovely so yeah just sew the wing on ah oh, yes let me get the little tin Oh yes, I love my little tin. Have a little look through here and choose a little tiny button for the eye. Now if you haven't got a tiny little button, you could use you could use if you have, yeah, you can use a French knot or some fabric or you can make a larger, put a larger button on. It's a case of using what you have, really. Here we are. Sew this little button on, a little bit fiddly. There we are. You can see eventually they change, they look quite plain. And then all of a sudden you just keep adding more and more stitches. This little bird needs a beak. I forgot that last time, didn't I? So Let's get some of the, let's get some of these scraps and pop the little beak on. Now they've all got their own little personalities because they're just all so different. There we are. Pin that on. There. And it's just a case of, there. <laughs> Taking this with me up to Ben's and adding lots and lots of stitches. You can't. Oh, are you? That's Freddy. He wants to go on a walk. I know. I want, yeah. but it's bucketing down, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's raining. I know. Yeah. Raining cats and dogs, Ben. It is, yeah. So, literally, I am just here. At Ben's now. I'm just adding stitches. Can you see? I'm just. Is that, is that another teacup? It's one of those little birds with the wings, oh, Ben. Yeah, you yeah. love those little yeah, birds, birds with the wings. I get birds and yeah. teacups mixed up. Yeah, yeah birds and teacups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are whimsical birds, though. <laughs> yeah. And just that's how I knot it in. And I'm just adding, adding stitches. Anything goes, really. Lovely. And I've, I've added loads of gold. To, to that little one. Oh, yeah, nice. 
Oh, thank you, Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice, isn't it? That's mm. nice thread. Isn't it? Mm. Nice and shiny. It is very shiny. Ben. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I did. Oh, have I not? Oh, have I? Oh, yes, here we are. Look. Oh, I just, if you don't have ribbon, you, I just used some of the fabric and made a little hanger. I have had some ink and I wrote out the words hope on the back of this little fella too. There we are. I got they, these out and stamped. It's all very relaxing and all very, very... Any stitch goes. Mm. Let me know. Let me know if you have an idea for a different sort of bird. Whimsical bird, not yes. a practical bird. Oh, it's like a toucan. <laughs> it is a toucan. Oh, actually, I quite like that. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, because oh. it's, it's, it's stylised. It is. It's yeah. in the little half circle. Oh, oh you yeah. like my little... I like it. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice. We thought you might like, mock him. I like the eye. And then he's got a button within a button. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So let me get this straight. There's no critique. <laughs> no, because what you've done is you've gone for you've gone for stylized oh, and the, the beak. Uh, yeah, well, I, I really you, like you. it. I, I, yeah. Well, I'm on a roll. Yeah. I'm on a roll. Yeah. Can I just show you? Yeah. What What are you? What are your ideas? Or are you making hearts? Or let me know what if you're finding slow stitching helpful do you know we go through phases though don't we mm -hmm. so i think it's about time that we just had some face-to-face -face time together don't you ah <laughs> oh, lovely Oh, very nice. Mm. A sip of tea. Oh, before we just do that, I had a question on my video that I did, the doodling, and I used Posca pens. Somebody said they didn't have Posca pens or acrylic paint pens, and that is so understandable. I'm a great one for saying use what you've got, aren't I? So let's, I've got, this is white gouache, but equally so, I th you could use white wood colour or I, I have white, I water down white gesso and then just come in. Now it's, you're, you probably get a finer brush than the one I'm using, but I quite like it. It's got an organic feel to it. And just come in and doodle with the paintbrush. There we are. Just like that. So, yes, it is possible. It was great, great to have questions. I love, I love questions and challenges and that's wonderful yes it is possible to use different paints because this is gouache it's a little bit like a watercolor it might need a few few coats but oh, i'm pleased with this and i think this is going to make a perfect it's it's a it's an old envelope and i think it's going to make a perfect little envelope for a little bird of hope to fly, fly across the ocean maybe, <laughs> or round the country. And check out Patty's video. Patty has been making paper and fabric birds of hope as well. So I'll leave the link below. She has a wonderful pattern that she uses. Definitely going to try some. Right now, it really is time for us to 
have a chat and a cup of tea together, you can see how mesmerising something like this becomes. Very relaxing. Mm. Oh, it really is lovely to spend this time together. Isn't it, Freddie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got my cup of tea and taking oh, lots of breaths. Mm. Oh, yes. I think it's the simplicity of these little birds that, that I like so much. <laughs> oh. What else has been on my desk this week? Oh, how about you, Flo? What's been on your little desk, Jennifer? Oh, absolutely adorable. Oh, you're going to be able to fill this. Wow. Oh, I love it, Jennifer. Um, Flo. Jennifer's helping, I presume. The link below because Flo learnt to do this by watching Beth, Beth Shuler's channel, didn't you? I love it. <laughs> Shall we pull an ATC? And a little Janice card all at the same time. I love these cards. Do things in your own time. That That is amazing. Oh, lovely. Gosh, let's put that up there. Oh, I love that. Mm. Let's pick one of these. Explore, dream, discover. Oh, that's wonderful. And that's from Deanie. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you, Deanie. Let's pop that there. And those can inspire me throughout the week. I think it's wonderful looking at other people's art. And oh, it's just lovely to have on the desk, isn't it? Hmm. Shall we light a candle? You are not alone. We have a Never forget you are not alone. We have this lovely art community, don't we? And reach out to people in the art community or, or friends and neighbours. Hmm. Well, I better say goodbye and I do hope you have a little bit of time to create this week and even if that's watching and taking notes maybe getting out into nature or watching the videos youtube videos and going on some virtual walks take care everyone bye Mm -hmm. This week, ta-da! Okay. Yeah.
Ja, det är så roligt. Jag har inte gått till det. It's very thin as well. It, How many cups of tea are you going to get with that? Ben, no, now, it's whimsical, Ben. Right. It's you, not practical, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. But can you, can you imagine if, <laughs> so many cups of tea out of this tea Well, how big are your cups? Oh, bigger than that. Bigger than, <laughs> bigger than the teapot? Well, I could say it's for one person, but I think it's magical and whimsical. Well, they could just drink directly it, from the teapot. Keeps it, uh, one could. Yeah. It would yeah. be very couth. And it's it? also very, very thin. I mean, how does this really is whimsical because this whimsical. doesn't stand up properly, does it? No. It's it definitely. It doesn't even have weights in the bottom. I know. It's yeah. whimsical. It's whimsical. Yeah. Not practical. <laughs> yeah. So is this going with the, the layered plates thing? Yes. Ah. Yes, yes. It's, ne it's, it's nearly done now. <laughs> I like that you're not, <laughs> you're not doing things to scale. I'm not doing because the biscuit's scale. about that, that big. I know, I know. This is, I am loving this whimsical vibe because yeah. it just gives me so much freedom. If it would only stop raining now, we could go and put them in the giving tree. Yeah, then then they can get rained on. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. true. You can't even open it up. Oh no! How no. do you put the tea in there? It's whimsical, Ben. It's whimsical, right? It's whimsical. Okay. Okay. Can you can you make a practical one? Kind of a practical one out of pottery. <laughs> yeah, get get pottering. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is my bunch of ferns <laughs> for the gel plate. Oh, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. It's not in focus, Leslie. Oh, it's trying to focus on the ferns. <sighs> That's why. Oh, that is lovely. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh. Those triceratops, is it? Yeah, oh, yes, I love finding creatures in the woods. Oh, no, don't. 